Hi everybody and welcome. This is Steve from Open Bomb. Today's video we're going to go through beginning to end how to install the Open Bomb add-in for Onshape and how to create your first bill of materials. So let's get started. I've got a new account in Onshape and I have a bill I have an assembly tab ready to go. So we're going to start by visiting the Onshape app store and locating the open bomb add-in and we can read some information here about it there's some details down here about uh, monthly professional subscription requirements and some other things so be sure to spend a few minutes on that and then click the subscribe button up here in the following screen you also want to click here uh, get for free although a subscription will be required um, you'll have an opportunity to look at that later. So we're going to provide our Onshape account password. And we're done. We are, have subscribed. We're going to close the App Store tab and return to, uh, return to Onshape. So next we're going to use the add application command in Onshape and add open bomb. Now, if we are not uh, signed in or do not have an OpenBOM account, we will be greeted with this screen here. If you do not have an OpenBOM account, go ahead and register one using the same email address that you used um, for your Onshape account. In my example here, I've, uh, I've already created a, an OpenBOM account. I'll go ahead and sign in. Okay, so within Onshape, the Open Bomb creates a tab down here and it gives you some options about the bill of material you're about to create. You want to create a multi-level bomb, you know, what assembly is it you want to choose, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and use the defaults here and create our first bill of material. Now you may see a message, a display that says that you an Open Bomb professional user subscription level or above is required or a trial subscription. Um, if, you, if you'd like, you can send email to support at openbomb.com and request, um, request a trial. Or you can jump over to our pricing page and go ahead and purchase an, uh, uh, a, a uh, professional subscription right there. So in either case, um, after doing so, you'll need to sign in with your professional subscription account. I'm going to do now. And return to Open Bomb and then generate your bill of material again. I realize there's a little back and forth here. You may need to refresh, depending upon what browser you're using. You also need to refresh your browser occasionally to get past this. But once you have uh, your OpenBOM account created with a professional level subscription and you have your um, assembly created in Onshape and you've added the OpenBOM add-in to Onshape, you'll be able to use this operation here, add OpenBOM, and you'll be created with this, with this screen right here and where you can create a build tool. So the uh, open bomb add-in for Orion Shape is following, going through the uh, structure and extracting uh, both metadata and any uh, assembly structure that you have in that assembly. There we go. So there's a nice looking uh, bill of material in multi-level, if you modeled it in multi-level, with information, all this information is coming straight from, uh, from Onshape. There's another video with more advanced uh, Onshape um, behaviors by directionality and, and other things that you might want to look at as well. So, so to, to summarize, what did we do? We visited the, uh, the App Store in uh, Onshape. After creating our Onshape account, we visited the App Store. We installed the OpenBomb um, add-in. We went over to OpenBomb and, and, uh, and created an account. 
we either requested a trial or we went to the pricing page and, and purchased a professional subscription. And then once we were inside, back in on shape, we used the ad application open bottom to create the bill material. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, we'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thank you.